you've heard me talk about them quite a bit. Ground screws, right? This is what we're using our, for our foundation. Finally got a hold of some. Um, you know, we've had a uh, couple weeks of setbacks here with weather and a, a number of other things. I don't know if anybody's heard, but, uh, you know, it, it froze in Texas for quite a while. And that uh, it's not something we're used to here. So um, it's probably been a little while since you've heard from me, but uh, we made a little bit of progress. I'm going to show you today. Took a little bit, some video of it. Uh, this is the big thing. We finally got our ground screws in, uh, not in the ground, just in our container at the moment. Um, I just wanted to give you a good, I thought this shot of it is pretty good, um, just to give you the real scale of these. You know, I keep talking about them and it seems um, a lot of people just think like, really, you're going to use, you know, it, it doesn't sound like a very a big thing. But, you know, these are three inch diameter, uh, nine or ten feet long uh, steel you know, screws and that, uh, so I, I was pretty excited. We, we finally got these. I got to put my hands on them. Uh, it made me feel a little bit better about this plan because, you know, it is something pretty new for me. Um, but I'm just going to, you know, show you a little bit of video of, um, th that I took when I was there today, just a couple different little things. And, and I'm sure I'll pause it and talk a, a little bit as we go. Uh, this is the back half of the container where we, Cut out a little doorway there. So this is actually going to be exterior sort of, you know, covered porch. And that cutout that we just saw is going to be, yeah, right there. I don't know how to pause it and not um, have it start over. I keep screwing that up on these. But, you know, we're going to actually do a bar top there. Um, I noticed in anybody, oh, my goodness, what is going on? Okay. Sorry about that. Can I pause that? Yes. Okay. Move it a little bit. You can see this <laughs> this door actually got put in on top of a two by four. It'd be perfectly fine if we were putting flooring, but because we're reusing this flooring, uh, you know, just finishing this existing flooring, that's not going to work. It makes for too big of a step. I'm going to fix that though. Just, uh, you know, a couple couple man hours not going to be too big of a deal. Um, I just noticed that when I was there, so I pointed it out. This all where the uh, OSB is is going to be covered with some of the cutouts. Um, of let me pause it in a better spot. Yeah, some cutouts of the metal that we took from other parts of the containers, and so that's going to look, you know, uniform. This I was super excited about. Yes, I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to tile. I see this in all of the really high end homes that I sell for vacation rentals. Um, you know, people are just doing a lot of neat little things with them. I picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace last night. Uh, I think it's probably about 300, maybe a little more square feet of these tiles that are, you know, they all look different, but they're meant to be used in a mismatch pattern. Uh, I think we're going to use these in the bathrooms, either on the floor, maybe just part of it up the wall, uh, or we might put together a backsplash. But, you know, this is something I'm trying to do quite a bit uh, is take materials you know, I bought these from somebody who bought them to put in his home, took them all out of boxes, and then decided to go in another direction. He can't return them. Um, he's had them listed for a while. And, you know, there, there's just really not another buyer out there. There, You know, there's a lot of these that go out. And uh, a lot of them, I think they just end up getting thrown out at a certain point or just sit around in someone's backyard forever. And so I've been spending a lot of time trying to find stuff like this. Um, something that I can get a good deal on. It's going to look really nice. You know, I paid less than a buck a foot for this tile. You can easily pay five or six bucks a foot for this same, these these mosaic patterns where it's a number of different tiles. They don't quite match each other, but when you put them all together, um, it looks really nice in the places that I've seen it. My builder uh, and the tile, the person who's doing the tile, both of them are, <laughs> I think this is kind of a weird thing to do. Um, I showed him some pictures today, and I think it's something I'm going to talk a lot more about later. But I just thought I'd mention it because there's a big pile of them sitting there that uh, we just got these yesterday. Um, like I said, I think I got a great deal on them. I, I know, you know, we'll figure out a spot for them. This is the big pile of ground screws. Uh, we actually, I bought six extra. Um, I don't know why. The, the guys, the engineer that worked for the company that sells them, thinks that we need six more than we planned. Um, of course, they're selling them to us. So I don't know if they're worried that some of them will snap or we're not going to have 
um, the appropriate strength in certain areas. I'm, I'm really just not sure why they think we need them. Um, the the builder really doesn't want to, uh, but I, you know, they were, the screws themselves are so cheap. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm paying with tax and everything. These are less than 80 bucks a piece. Um, putting them in, if I'm already putting in 26, you know, I'm already going to have the equipment rented. I'm going to have the guys out there. I, I don't, you know, I don't see it being a huge cost to put in a couple extras if, if uh, we need them. And if it turns out we don't really need them, I'm going to just save them for my next project as long as these work well. Uh, it very it turns, it is turning out to be a very cost effective foundation. Um, I just had one, actually the, the builder did this for me, just had one laying out. I thought I'd, I'd give you a view of it out in the wild. You could just really see how big that is. Um, showing you, there, there's not really too much else that was got done. Um, there was a whole week where we did literally nothing here, uh, a week where we spent most of our time out on the site but so there is a little bit more framing going into here again this area where the osb is we're going to have um cutoffs of the of the steel you know the corrugated steel siding um, but this is going to be part of that outside you know covered porch area um and then that back deck we were just talking about today i think we might have some diamond plate deck uh, i think that might look pretty good uh i think we got a, a source on getting some of that for pretty cheap um, and then we just did a little bit more framing. Um, let me see if we can, I think I'm going to turn around and face this. Yeah, so this right here, this is going to be a bedroom. And obviously it's, this is just half of it. This container is going to be up against the one that I'm standing in to take this picture. Um, so you can sort of see where that's coming out. This is the beginning of the second wall for the bathroom. So this area here is going to be the bathroom. Um, this is one of the things I talked to a little bit with the builder today. Uh, the plans had this at like five feet, six inches, but we're going to shorten it to just at five because uh, the tubs we have are exactly five feet. Um, it's going to make it so that, you know, there's not some gap we have to fill between the tub and the wall. It's also going to make it so we can do exactly five tiles if we go with the you know, the one foot square tiles, which is what I think that we're going to do for most of it. But we're going to use um, that mosaic, mosaic tile that I showed you probably just on the floors, um, but maybe do a strip up the wall too. Uh, those are eight inch tiles. So there'll be some math to do, right? We'll have to do three of those to do two feet and then maybe do two feet and one feet of just a more plain tile. Because I think if you do that mosaic, 100% it's going to be a little bit overwhelming. Um, I think some people think it's going to be overwhelming no matter what, but I'm, I'm hoping that goes well. And let's see, that that's really, I think, most of what uh, what we have to look at. You know, like I said, we haven't had a, a ton of uh, to do or haven't been able to do a ton because of, uh, you know, the, the freeze and we actually had some rainy days before that. Um, we are still waiting for our permit to be able to actually move these on the site, but we've got to get those ground screws in there first. Um, I think that's going to happen either Mon or either Saturday or Monday uh, if things go to plan. Obviously, very little has gone to plan so far, so you know we'll we'll see where that goes. Oh, I am supposed to tell you in the beginning: like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, I learned a little bit about the YouTube the other day where if you do that in the beginning of a video, YouTube likes it more than if you do it at the end. So I'm going to start trying to say it in the beginning. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think it's, it's that big a deal. Did get up to 37 subscribers or maybe 38, which is amazing. Thank you for everybody who's actually watching these. Um, a lot of my friends and family are, you know, talking to me about this offline. And, and that's a lot of fun for me because I haven't, um, you know, I haven't really... A lot of the people I know know I'm in real estate, but they don't really know what I do. And this isn't what I'm doing on as my day job. You know, I've got a couple of these that I'm trying to do, and I'll probably try to do two or three of these a year from now on, as long as this goes well. Um, but it, but it is fun to be able to share a little bit of that. Um, oh, and I'm also check out my new shirt. I got this for Christmas. I love my coffee. Um, meant to, meant to mention that early on too, because you know, uh, birthdays are fun, right? New stuff. Anyway, uh, oh, one more thing. Did I say like, subscribe, and comment? Pretty sure I said that. 
Ooh, I'm going to have some brand promises for you. Uh, I, I think I'm going to go over those in the future, though, so stay tuned. Um, so things coming up, the tiny house project. A lot of people ask me what's going on with that. I still don't have the plans from the architect. Uh, you know, two weeks ago, he had told me next Wednesday. So that would have been last Wednesday, not yesterday, but a week ago yesterday. Uh, and obviously then we had the big storm. So I didn't even say anything to him until yesterday. Uh, and then I asked him, he said, oh, I'm still trying to catch up from last week. But, you know, it, it was already three weeks or two or three weeks late last week. So I, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using the guy again. And it's too bad because it seems like he does a like I like the work he's doing, um, but he has, you know, consistently been a week or two later on every step that he's told me. Uh, hopefully I actually have plans for that before we finish this, which, you know, this project has been delayed too. So, you know, who knows, maybe that's just, maybe that's working out for the best. But anyway, should have updated plans to go over for that uh, in the next couple days, he tells me. So that might mean sometime next week. And then I'm going to take video of whenever these these ground screws get screwed into the ground. So stay tuned. I think that's going to be exciting. It's definitely exciting for me. Uh, I'm also, like I said, I'm going to do a video talking a little bit more about tiling things. And uh, I know just about everybody I've talked to looks at what I got there and they just think that that's crazy. Um, I guess it's that I end up spending a lot more time in these expensive homes that people buy for vacation rentals. And I've just seen that, you know, that I think that's a relatively newer look and that kind of tile is in generally pretty expensive. Uh, and so, you know, it's not something everybody's used to seeing. Um, I really like the look and I, I, you know, hopefully we can pull it off in a way that it works with the rest of the container uh, style. I think it is a little bit strange to have um all of the old rusty metal and then something shiny and new but i think that that juxtaposition if we if we handle it right can be good and i also think you know i'm trying to reuse as much as possible but i don't want it to look like you're living in trash when you come and stay here and so i think having a couple of really high-end finishes and a few different spots um it's going to bring home the fact that you know this is not uh, just a couple of shipping containers slapped together as cheaply as possible. I mean, it is, yes, we are definitely budget conscious. Um, but at the same time, we are, you know, trying to make a really nice, a really nice product here. Uh, so anyway, I talked a whole bunch after I told you I was done. Uh, and I seem to tend to do that. But anyway, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe and comment. And I always point over here, but you guys are mirrored. So it's going to be over that way. I see YouTubers do this all the time, and uh, I'm like, what are they doing? But now I get it, so sorry about that. Anyway, until next time, I will keep making mistakes so you don't have to. That's how you know I'm really done.